I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at a launch press conference with Joshua B. Franklin, April 1st, live on DAZN. I'm joined by Anthony Joshua's new trainer and one of the best trainers in world boxing, Derek James. How are you, sir? Good to see you. How are you doing? Thank you. Good. Go ahead. Very well. Happy to see you as well. Uh, yeah, talk to me about how Anthony's finding life in Texas. He said that he hasn't been anywhere by the gym. How's he finding it? You know, I don't know because, I mean, I'm only at the gym. I don't, I don't do anything else either, so I mean, we both live a similar lifestyle. Good to hear. Um, yeah, we know uh, Anthony's had a, a tough time in terms of in the ring, uh, the last three or four fights. Um, just wanted to get your sort of view about his losses to Alexander Usyk and, and what you made of them. Well, you know, to be honest, I only saw like the second, the last fight. I only seen pieces of bits of it because I don't watch a lot of boxing. So I had to go back and watch a little bit of him. But, I mean, I, I saw what he did in that fight. And, you know, I saw where we had to build and work on because we, we're not focused on him as much as uh, we're focused on Franklin. Everything is about Anthony, I mean, uh, Jermaine Franklin. Yeah, I get that. When uh, Anthony first came to you, did it click straight away? Did it take a bit of time before both of you guys realized this is a partnership that can move forward? How was it? I think that it probably could have happened like the first or second day, but I think that... You know, it took a while. I mean, and it may have happened for him because you got to realize this relationship is two-sided. It may have been to where, in my perspective, it clicked, but from his perspective, it didn't. So it's just, a, I don't know how it happened for him. But for me, I, I knew that he understood what I wanted him to do. I mean, you can't tell us all of that about what he's going to do on April 1st and the new style of, flip, if you like, you're going to imprint on Anthony. But what are the keys that you're looking for from Anthony on April 1st during this training camp? Um, just for him to be present. I mean, be present in the fight. I'm not saying that he wasn't for any other fight, but just to say that he'll be present for this fight and in the moment. And so um, that's the key element, to be present. You talk about being present. We saw in the, the Usyk fights, both of them, there were multiple voices in the corner that we could hear on the television broadcast speaking. Is that going to be different when it comes to you? Are you going to be the, the only voice in the corner? Yeah, yeah, I'm the only voice speaking in the ring, yeah. Is that, is that very important to you as a, as a lead trainer? I think that it's very confusing when you're listening to several different people and you're getting advice from several different people. So I don't, you know, I think that's, that, that's something I couldn't work with. But I think that, uh, you know, he, uh, it, for the moment, it worked for him for like 12 fights or how many fights he had. But like for me, it's difficult for someone to tell someone something different than what I'm telling them. What do you think about Jermaine Franklin as an opponent? There has been a bit of backlash in the UK about people being upset as Jermaine as an opponent. They wanted someone slightly higher ranked. But what do you think about Jermaine? I think that he's very talented and very skilled. I mean, I, I think that to... to, to I think that he's really good, man. I mean, I don't know what other people are wanting from Anthony Joshua. I mean, we know that he's a good fighter, Joshua. But at the same time, I think that there's always tests, right? And especially when you have a new trainer coming in, there's always tests. I mean, and I think Franklin's a great test, and I think Franklin could probably beat most of the other guys or deal with, hang with them, at least um, the top, you know, not the top, but like the top 15 to number five, you probably can deal with those fighters. Some people believe that Anthony's caught in between styles, if you like, in his previous fights, especially during the losses. Um, are you trying to get him back to that raw, aggressive style that we're used to from Anthony Joshua that we saw early on in his career? I oh, know it's not as simple as just doing that, but is that what you're trying to get out of him? I don't, I mean, I never, I never really watched him fight. Only I saw him fight um, when he won the title. I saw the fight when he fought Crisco in the Dominic Brazil fight. So there's like three, four fights. I, mean, I don't watch a lot of boxing. So Would you say from those fights that you watched, the Brazil fights, the Klitschko fights, that he's changed after the Ruiz loss? I don't, because remember, I, I had to have seen the Ruiz fight to know how he changed. 
I had, I mean, I saw pieces and bits of the fight, so I didn't even really see the fight. So I really don't know how he was before then. But at the same time, I think that he, he, he's a, he has the willingness to be great. That's the thing about it, people don't understand. It's like, what will you do to be great? What will you do to be successful? What what challenges will you endure? What what sacrifice will you endure? That's the key element. It's not about the work you do. It's about what you're willing to give up to be great. You know, he's given up a lot to be great. But he came to America. He came to Dallas. So he's faced every challenge in reality. You say, this is what I want to do. And to give up with comfort, to give up all these other things is very important to being successful. Do you believe he can still mix it with the likes of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, if those fights happen at the back end of the year? Do you think he's still up there? I think he is. I think that, I think that. hey man, he said it in the interview, in the press conference, everything is a process. And this is part of the process. Jermaine Franklin fight is part of the process. Me coming in is a part of his process. And so we'll see, because I, I believe that he's still at the top of what he needs to be doing. Just lastly, away from this, uh, in terms of uh, Errol Spence, so he was quite disappointing from boxing fans that that fight never materialised with Terence Crawford. I think for myself, it was upsetting. But I think at the same time, I think that you never know. It could possibly pop up. I mean, these guys are still fighting. I mean, and they're fighting in the same area weight, you know, and I think it could happen. If, you know, if it, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, it won't make or break either one of the guys, but it would be a great fight for the fans. How's he found it being around Errol and, and the Charlo twins if, if they've been in the gym at the same time as, as Anthony? I think it's good, man. I think that, well, the first day he got to Dallas, Errol was in the ring sparring, and so that was good. But he, and then Errol was in the gym yesterday working out before he sparred, so he could see that. And it, I think it's very inspirational to uh, to see that, man, and, um, and to feel like, yeah, Frank Martin in the gym, who I think he's like ranked number one in the WBA. So it's like um, to have that around you and to be in that type of gym with Jamel, not, not Jamal, but Jamel and Errol and Frank, I think it's amazing. Derek James, thank you very much for your time. We'll see you on Fight Week. Thank you, sir. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.